Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. So here I wanted to share with you how to use Flutter block and hydrated block equitable and path provider packages together. Now this would be brief introduction on how they should get along and used together. So make sure that you go ahead and install them. Now if you don't know what is a hydrated block, using hydrated block you can store your data in your state or in the memory and your state or memory would be preserved as you work on the app or if you make changes on the app like for example as we are doing over here now the states would be changed even after you reboot your app so it's always there so that's why hydrated block comes there and of course it states our serve data in the device itself it stores data in the device so to do that it uses path provider package now once again this is a quick introduction now over here in your main dot a main main function make sure that you have this uh, widgets binding over here flutter binding and then first what we do over here we make a space for our app so it happens internally in the app itself hydrated block takes care of this now it works together with this path provider package so get application documents directory comes from the path provider package as you can see now once you have this storage Okay, you have to do this hydrated block override so it connects the storage and app itself together now make sure that you have the right format of writing now hydrated block override is the same as block overrides which help you to monitor the states blocks and events so we have to use it like this so once you are there of course your main app file starts inside this run app so you go ahead and create stateless widgets or whatever kind of classes you need. It doesn't really matter. Now inside this, because I believe that you are using hydrated block and uh, block together, so your app is not that simple. So most probably you'd be using a lot of block providers or blocks. So in that case, we, we're going to use multi-block provider. So multi-block provider takes a list of providers. As you can see here, I inside this, I have two block providers so we want to connect all together and inject at the same time so that's why we use a multi-block provider inside this we have providers and as we have providers we inject our uh, block providers and that's it and right after this uh, inside multi-block provider we also have this child now child uh, inside the child for for the child we can use this block builder widget and with this we'd be able to find our states and do some conditional changes or check and based on that we do our ui or redirect our user to different pages now as we are working with a hydrated block over here uh, we have to make sure that one of your blocks at least that has hydrated block now what i mean by that so if we get over there say for example this is a block or qubit now over here you do see that we have hydrated qubit now if we first remove this it still works okay now if you don't know what is qubit qubit is subset of block so instead of qubit you can also use block but qubit makes your uh, code easier to read and uh, it has less bipolar code so if you're using block you can just go ahead by saying hydrated block but in our case we are using qubit so we say hydrated qubit but the idea is qubit and block they are pretty much the same so what i'm trying to point over here is that one of your qubit or block should be hydrated qubit and inside this you can mention the type of your states qubits and blocks like that yeah so that's it so more about this tutorial you can check out from the link below thank you